Before we go tonight, a personal note about an important member of the WTTW family. As we mentioned earlier in the hour, Jim Maybe, who served for 20 years on the WTTW WFMT board and was its chair from 2014 to 2020, died over the weekend. Jim was, our, was passionate about our organization and was a tireless advocate for our continued growth and success. He was particularly interested in making sure WTTW News could expand to better serve Chicago's diverse communities in increasingly deeper ways. In an interview last year, Jim told us why he wanted to be a part of this organization. Public broadcasting is essential to democracy and essential to the independent bringing of news and information and opinions to the, to the everyday person. Our sister station, WFMT, benefited from his appreciation for everything from classical to folk music. Among his many other philanthropic endeavors, Jim once served as the chairman of the WBEZ board. Maybe his first job was with Marshall Fields, and then he went on to spend most of his business career in leadership and portfolio management positions with William Blair and A.G. Becker, and most recently as chair of Chicago Capital. We thank Jim Maybe for his staunch support of WTTW and WFMT, and in particular for his steadfast support of Chicago Tonight. Our thoughts tonight go out to Jim's wife Kay and their children, Sarah, David, Martha, and Anne, as well as the rest, rest of Jim's many friends and family. Jim Maybe was 85.